Morning guys, welcome to Silverwind Farm. Here again down at the down at our creek. Um, just gonna give you guys more of a detailed rundown on the bunyip pump that we installed uh, not too long ago. Uh, there's been some uh, videos on our Instagram and uh, Facebook page and lots of questions, so we thought we'd do a bit more of a detailed rundown. Uh, starting here at the at the, the weir that we in, installed. Here, so this is where it all starts. Um, we've got a hundred mil valve on the 100 mil PVC pipe. PVC pipe is what is driving the pump, is through low pressure over distance. So we've got about a metre and a half of um, the strainer post, uh, the strainer um, made out of the PVC here. Um, and then next to the valve. And it extends down the creek about 40 odd metres. Okay, so we go for a walk and I'll show you down to the, to the pump. see that the 100 mil PVC is just just laying in the creek bed um, and just screwed together with with tech screws so it's easy to maintain if a piece of pipe breaks didn't use any glue and then we've anchored it to the rock bed in the creek as well as well as concreted it in some places um, just in the in the case of big rain events that come down uh, which we've had quite a few and nothing's moved no pipe the pipe has moved neither is the pump So we've got the, the pump is in stall mode at the moment, essentially it's, it's off, uh, the, the valve, so the line is up to the tank is pressurised, um, so it's off, you can see it's just, creek's just running as normal, pump's not doing anything. So to feed the pump we're taking the water out of the supply line, the, the 100 mil PVC here, so it's coming up to the pump here, so it's sucking in drawing the water here into the piston chamber here the pump the pumps can be configured in several different ways um, depending on your application of how high you need to pump distance um, and, and the volume of water uh, we're running a 60 mil um, piston here so this is the piston chamber sucking in the water here and then going out the black line lots of people thought it was air it's actually the, the line that's pumping all the way up to our header tank uh, about a kilometre away and about 105 metres in elevation. Um, the tyre itself, so like I said, the PVC pipe, 40, 40 odd metres coming down, completely charged with water, working on low pressure to drive the, the diaphragm, which is the, the tyre. So the water out of the tyre is just going back into the creek, not, not into the pump chamber at all. So the water pressure is driving the pump up, expelling out. So as it comes up, it's a pump stroke. As it goes down, it's sucking water through the one-way valve. And like I said, as it comes up, pushing the water through this one-way valve up to the up to the, ta the tank there. Um, these valves here are off, so that's what's caused it to, to stall. Um, there easy to maintain the only wear and tear on these pumps lots of people reckon the tire and stuff like that these will last forever um, is there's a couple of piston um, seals in here and it's about a five ten minute job to undo this pull out the piston change those seals that's about it that's the wear and tear and they can last anywhere from six months up to a couple of years is, uh, is what Brett from Bunya Pumps has, has, has told us so far so good just pumping away um, as the, the through summer as, as this creek is sort of drying up with less rainfall not as much water the pump will actually self-regulate so as the water flow drops down the, the flow rate for the pump sl slows down and it will basically it will come and it will it may stall 
and then as the water pressure builds up back in the pipe, it will go again. And then, so it could stop for a couple of weeks and then we have a rain event, the creek fills up, the pipe fills up, pump starts going again. Away we go. So we turn it on, we just simply fire up the pump, keep filling, and away it goes. Straightforward, easy pump to use. Comes out of Queensland from Bunyip Pumps. Check them out online. Brett's a great guy, help you out. Um, we'll take you for a drive up, up to the top of the tank and um, we'll show you where it's going. Um, we've got, this is our supply line going all the way up to the tank. We put a pressure gauge on there. That way it actually will tell us at our top height that we're getting to at the moment. Like I said, it's sitting at 105 metres in elevation. take you up and show you the flow so there it is at a 105 meters coming out into the tank um, we calculate it's about seven just seven and a half thousand liters a day at the moment uh, if there's a water if there's water flowing down the creek, uh, it will like the pump will run 365 days a year. So, so yeah, so that's that's where we're pumping to with the the Bunyip pump. Um, so far, so good. Great, great pump, great application for us. Um, all the research we did. Uh, fitted in really well with what we're trying to achieve being a regen farm with sustainability here um, our plan to, to pumping up here to this this header tank of 110,000 litres capacity is to, to to run down downhill with poly pipe gravity feed to all our stock troughs in lower, lower paddocks um, and yeah, the pump will just hopefully just keep, keep ticking away filling providing water for, for, the, for the farm uh, we'll keep you updated as, as time goes on and um, yeah if you if you like what we're doing hit that subscribe button um, for further information on the bunyip pumps uh, check out the links below contact brett um, and yeah please hit us up any questions any other feedback and if you yeah if you like what we're doing let us know thanks for that cheers